Namaste dear aspirants I am Andy Souza welcome to Dr Rajkumar IAS KS Academy here as we have very short time for our upcoming exam so let's have a brief idea about how to revise your ecology environmental ecology topics in very short days or few days so when it comes to ecology we can segregate this into two three divisions so that we can simplify it in a better way so we have environmental ecology biodiversity and climate change so when we speak of environmental ecology we give more importance to static part of the subject biodiversity and climate change is dynamic so let's look into the static part of the subject and what do we have exactly here the very foundational terms the key terms or the basic terms right so when it comes to the revision of these terms the very source is ncrt that is where we start from when it comes to class 12 biology last four chapters and we have certain chapters in chemistry and uh, environmental chemistry for example that is a chapter and we have in geography also physical geography for example biodiversity so we have scattered chapters in various ncrts so how do we go back to it and revise it so only way out is there is no much time to go back and read entire chapters so what you already have in your study material what you have studied throughout the year your very effort you have put in so what you have to do is skim through the words how do we selectively choose it we have to connect it to previous year question paper that is the only source we have because in the syllabus we do not have what are the micro topics rather we have it in the question paper so question paper is our source right so the key terms we can connect it or we can pick it up from the previous year question paper when it comes to ecological terms right when it comes to biodiversity yes it is highly dynamic what exactly do we have it here key species protected areas and key species so there are n number of flora and fauna where we have to remember in the entire year throughout the year but which one is important how do we know it how many times it has been repeated in the previous year question papers how many times in what all ways it's been asked so one thing uh, aspirants have to keep in mind is without revisiting your previous year question paper we do not have any other source so that you have to place before you for the, that is the only way out so in biodiversity also what do we two things what do we have in the news what did we have in the past so you have to compare these two and then come to a conclusion wherein which are the species which are repetitively seen in news what is been asked and what is been left out in the previous year question paper so for this the only source is the newspaper and how well you can discuss and connect with your peer are also with your mentor that is the only way out for the biodiversity so in this revision part what do we do is we for example if you consider one species say whichever recently we had snow leopard assessment population assessment so what all aspects you have to learn when it comes to a particular species we already know snow leopard is in news so what are the things the first thing is its behavioral aspect because when you have a notes when you have a detailed information about it you have everything there any question asked on this you have it in your fingertips as i come back to this example snow leopard is one species i mean one example wherein what is its habitat what is its prey base what is its protected status which are the places it is found and what is the legal implications what are the policies and laws when it comes to its conservation it is about the species when it comes to protected areas you have to look into the map visual aid will help you pictureize or visualize the things and you can connect where exactly this very protected area is located so here you will cover up the species plus the protected areas this is how you revise taking up each of the species when it comes to biodiversity part of course there are peripheral aspects so one you pick up and entire holistic perspective will get it here when it comes to climate change again one more dynamic aspect wherein the very idea of climate change topic here you have to know is what are the conventions at the international level one thing and when it comes to convention at the international level not everything we have to look into the recent updates which are the recent cop cop is nothing but conference of parties 
which are the conventions who had their recent meetings held it where what was india's participation there what was india's initiative and at least from the past one year you have to look into it and again where do we have the hint for this convention in the previous year question paper what type of questions has been asked look into it so this is what we have in convention and climate change also have certain terminologies dynamic terminologies such as carbon sink carbon sequestration carbon credits so there are certain keywords where it starts from carbon carbon is the main word wherein it connects to various different other terminologies that you have to have it in your fingertips so the bottom line is the crux is having your foundation very strong and connecting it to the advanced part and more you revise that is how it is going to help you so the bottom line is in every these three segments ecology environmental ecology biodiversity and climate change have your foundation strong connect with the advanced topics and go in tandem with current affairs this is the very crux of the ecology revision and most of all the very important thing is have an awareness about your surroundings when you connect better to your surroundings you will know better and that is how the learning is completed so i wish you all the very best and i hope this technique will help you in learning thank you